It's getting late. Come on. Uninstall Premiere, delete CapCut, smash your laptop, wait, wait, stop, you'll need it. Because from now on, you don't have to spend your entire day editing one simple clip, only to end up with zero views, zero likes, and zero motivation. And yeah, your wallet ends up just as empty as your bank account. I made that hook you saw at the beginning super easily. And nope, I didn't use Adobe Premiere Pro or CapCut. Why? Because I needed a tool that lets me finish my projects fast without wasting time on unnecessary steps. When it comes to going viral, every second literally counts. I also wanted simple, clean, but still professional tools all in one place so I don't have to jump between different software and plugins every two minutes. So let's start from the beginning. Go to the Wondershare Filmora website and download the software for free. Once it's installed, you can sign in with your Google account and jump straight into the main workspace. Right here, you'll see Filmora's newest and trendiest tools. If you click the three dots, you get the full list. And trust me, most of these will become your favorites. Text and image to video, multi-camera editing, AI music, all designed to boost your workflow and your quality at the same time. Now let's click new project and start from scratch together. Uh, this is the Fillmore interface at a glance and let me quickly walk you through it. Stock media, audio, titles, transitions, effects, filters, stickers, templates, it's all here. And so many of them are powered by AI. The timeline also gives you a ton of control plus an AI assistant to speed everything up. Now let's import our materials. I already built most of this project inside Filmora, so I don't have much to bring in. But if you have a lot of footage, it's super easy to uh, preview everything in the source panel, uh, pick what you want uh, and uh, drag it into the timeline. Here's a feature I love, dual timelines. Premiere doesn't have this. With Filmora, you can view and edit two timelines at the same time and any change you make inside your sub-project updates instantly in your main timeline. It's like massive time saver. Up here you can switch layouts, super helpful if you're working with two monitors or making vertical videos for reels or YouTube shorts. Since I'm following my voiceover for this video, I'll start with that. Go to audio and you'll see if Filmora gives you full AI tools for music, voiceovers, and sound effects. Write a prompt, choose a mood, set the duration, boom, you get a unique music track. Same for sound effects. Or use the built-in library, which honestly is already packed with great options. Now let's open text-to-speech and click start. Paste your script, choose your language, and you can even create a custom voice. Record your own voice and Film Aura will read the script for you. Or just pick one of the sample voices. One to share, creativity simplified. Wondershare Creativity Simplified. Wondershare Creativity Simplified. It's getting late. Come on. I'm generating the second part of my voiceover using a different voice so you can hear the variety. All Premiere. Delete CapCut. Smash your laptop. Next, as I pull videos onto the timeline, I'll edit and trim the audio so everything fits perfectly. Now I'm bringing the clips onto the timeline and syncing them based on the voiceover. The second clip needs to be much faster, so I'll adjust the speed here. You can also drag and adjust speed directly on the timeline. I'll keep doing the same thing for the next shots as well. Here's the laptop screen break moment where the frame needs to stay completely still. The next clip is a time lapse of an editor working nonstop in his office and I need to sync it perfectly. Here's a huge tip. If you ever need a video and you don't have it, don't leave your project. Go to stock media. You've got a full library of super high quality clips. You also get access to Filmora's partner libraries. And if that's not enough, Filmora's A, I can generate videos for you. Image to video even supports VAO 3. And you can use start slash end frames, reference frames, and import up to four images for guidance. And there are tons of templates here too, all fresh and trending. 
Um, text to video is also available and seriously helpful. Now let me show you the new video extend feature. I'm using one of the clips I generated with uh, Phil Mora's AI, so you can see how well it works. AI image generation is also available, and yes, it even supports Nano Banana. I need a background for this next part, so I'll drop it onto the timeline. Now, I want to use one of Phil Mora's newest tools animated charts i'm gonna build a chart showing youtube video performance go to effects animated charts you'll see a whole panel with beautiful modern templates you can manually change the values or import a csv file in the preview area you can adjust the colors the animation style the whole look After setting the timing, I want to add some motion graphics to fill the empty space. I'll bring in a sticker, draw its motion path with the pen tool. And in the properties panel, I'll lock it to the path so it animates cleanly. I'll repeat that with two more stickers. And keep in mind, even though uh, Filmora has tons of stickers, you can also make new ones using AI stickers. For the next shot, I'll grab a green screen clip from stock media and um, drag it in. Then from the right panel under AI matting, I'll select chroma key to remove the green background. Now I'll test a few Filmora effects for the laptop screen break moment and pick the one that looks best. Smash your laptop, smash your laptop, smash your laptop. Adding a TV screen effect gives it an even nicer vibe. Then I'll add a few soft zoom ins and zoom outs to polish the shot. Now let's talk music. The built-in music library is huge. Honestly, you can find almost anything you need here. But if you want something unique, AI music is right there. You can also generate sound effects, though I found everything I needed right in Filmora's SFX library. Uninstall Premiere, delete CapCut, smash your laptop, wait, wait, stop, you'll need it. Only to end up with zero views, zero likes and zero motivation, and yeah. For Extra Punch, I'm adding a few transitions. Filmora has really impressive collection and they look great. Now for titles, if you need text, you can choose from tons of ready-made templates. And Filmora's auto AI caption feature is amazing. Generate subtitles with one click. Pick the style you want and apply it to every caption using apply to all. I used a few different styles here and by moving the captions around, I tried to make the shot look more dynamic and visually appealing. And now we export. You can even set your thumbnail here and upload directly to YouTube or TikTok. I hope this tutorial helped. Stay creative and I'll see you in the next one. It's getting late. Come on. Uninstall Premiere, delete CapCut, smash your laptop, wait, wait, stop, you'll need it. Because from now on, you don't have to spend your entire day editing one simple clip, only to end up with zero views, zero likes, and zero motivation. And yeah, your wallet ends up just as empty as your bank account. <laughs>